shit. Did I leave the stove on? I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, get funky with me. Everybody, how you doing today? So look at this, Toronto Maple Leafs mask. That's where the Vancouver Canucks play. Burn. I'm not exactly sure on who or what, but burn. I'm in your town. Sporting the blue and white. So are you though. You should have stuck with the black and gold. Huh? Let's keep going. Yeah, look at this. This, 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 yeah, look at this, I am on the bridge from Deadpool, right here, you know what, let's hop over here, ow, ah, and here we go, this is where all the scenes, the opening scenes were shot for Deadpool, and mid-scenes and end-scenes, I mean, that, it's uh, flashbacks, but it all takes place right here. The big fight scene on the bridge. This is the bridge, the Georgia Viaduct in downtown uh, Vancouver. Right here. Bit of a chore getting up here, but I did it. Now, when uh, Deadpool's sitting on the edge of the bridge, he's actually facing that way. And they CGI'd everything around him, except you do see those, that series of buildings, but you see those two, those main two right and there. And then when he's looking down, that's all CGI too, because as I'm going to show you, it's pretty simple. It's not a huge like uh, spider web of uh, roads and highways. Very, very cool though, to be on this bridge. They shut it down. They shut it down to film Deadpool, because Ryan Reynolds pretty much is the mayor of Vancouver. It's up to him. So it's hard to see, but actually, I'll show you what it looks like looking down. Ow. That's it. This is Sky Train. It's very loud up here, obviously. It's a major thoroughfare. But yeah, when he's looking down, it looks like he's looking at something else, but he's not. But you can see these very prominently beside him where he's sitting. But the way that you're gonna know is those two buildings there. It's actually kind of shot more over on that side, going that way. But it's easier to film on this side without getting hit by a car. And I'll do a lot of things for my channel, but getting hit by a car, well, lightly, like tapped, maybe, but smacked, hell no. Yeah, it's really cool downtown. This is a really cool view. Just absolutely gorgeous, but they CGI'd a lot of extra things in to make it look like a bigger city. This is it. This is a bridge from Deadpool. And actually, from what I can tell, he was sitting probably on one of the, I know he was facing this way. So I'm thinking he was sitting on that one over there. How they did it. Probably with a harness. But everything was safe around it. So what I can tell, because you do see a few of those buildings in the background, but you don't see that science, uh, I believe this is science, um, what do you call it? Science center. You don't see that, but you see some of those buildings in the background very distinctly, especially that one right there. You can notice behind him. And on the bridge, uh, the fight scenes. 
But yeah, this is it. It's actually more on that side of the bridge. But, come on. All right, I got a lot of locations for Deadpool coming up. Very, very specific ones. Uh, a lot of studio styles done inside, so I can't show that. Uh, a couple of buildings have been torn down since, but I got some really cool ones coming right now. More from Deadpool. Let's go. Now I gotta find my car. I don't even know my parts. I just left it. It's Vancouver, right? I assume that they're all just so nice here. They're like, ah, oh, just leave this car. You're not Austin Matthews, so I don't care. I don't care who you are. Hashtag drive by. Always in an alley somewhere. Oh my god. <laughs> Birds are throwing bread at me. Somebody's throwing bread at me. Good lord. Look where we are. If you're a big fan of Deadpool, you might recognize that house right there. Because it's where Deadpool lived. Right on the other side of here. Down there. So it looks the exact same. That's Deadpool's house. Let's try and get a little closer so we don't have the fence blocking us. A lot of bread around. Okay, come on. There we are. There's where Deadpool lived. It's the exact same. This is where he gets picked up by the cab. Right here. And he hitches a ride from the uh, garbage truck. Right here. Coming right down this alleyway to his home in there. So if I haven't explained the plot of Deadpool, I mean, it's a superhero film. I'm assuming everybody's seen it. I just watched it for the first time like a week ago and I loved it. I know it's weird, I never saw Deadpool. He's a mercenary that is recruited to become a mutant with super, super healing powers and then he gets burned and he has cancer and he wants to get his girlfriend back. It's a whole thing. It's Ryan Reynolds. It's very funny. The, re the recruiter guy, not Ajax, the recruiter guy, when he finally catches up with him, it's inside this building right here. And right here is where he does something awful to him. He says, you better look away for this. It's shot right here against this mural. And inside, they shot all inside. The people here are really nice, but it's because of uh, COVID and uh, food restrictions, can't go inside. But they're very accommodating and telling me all about the filming here. Really cool, really nice. So right here, you see a bunch of this. Right from about this angle, looks very similar. As you can tell, the grapes are still there on the wall. Yeah, they come right out of here. Hope I explained the plot to Deadpool okay. I think I did. Then the plot switches back and forth, goes back and forth in time. It's really cool uh, how they do it. I wasn't expecting that. I expected more of a linear story. Linear? Linear storyline. It goes back and forth. And for my small brain, I was a little confused at times, but then I caught on. Pea brain. So even Ajax needs a lair, and this is just a block away from Deadpool's lair. They could have saved themselves a lot of time because Ajax rides his motorcycle right along here right past that pole and goes in to his lair. I'm calling it a lair, right here. And it looks like the exact same uh, graffiti is on that pole. After all these years, what has it been? Two, three, still, yeah, right here. Look at that. That's where Ajax lived. Literally around the corner from Deadpool's house. Come on. Hollywood magic, Vancouver magic. I love Vancouver. If you're gonna come out here, though, and you wanna see the Deadpool locations, um, just, ex this was shot in some of the grittier areas of Vancouver. And um, Vancouver's a beautiful city, but it's got some gritty parts, and this would be one of them. Okay? Anywho. So Weasel and Wade tracked down Vanessa at the strip club she works at. Now that's actually a different location. I was just outside of it. And of course, you can't go in and film inside a strip club, but I should have taken some pictures of the exterior. But it's the, or you know, this is the exterior that they used. But they go inside, it's a different building. This is a Cobalt Motel, or hotel, sorry, excuse me. And they go right in there in that doorway. Right down this street, 
All these locations really close together, but difficult to park and difficult to get to. So Vanessa thinks she's going to meet Wade, Deadpool. She doesn't know he's Deadpool. She comes out of the strip club, which is right here, but it's not. It's Ajax, and Ajax is waiting right here along this wall. Right here. In this alleyway, just off of Hastings Street, the same alleyway right up there where they shot Friday the 13th, part eight. But yeah, right here. They've paved over the brick here, but you can see those windows. And of course it was dark, it was misty, it wasn't daytime. It was all shot right here. The abduction scene from Deadpool. So Deadpool desperately wants Vanessa back, but he doesn't want her to see what he looks like because he's burned, burned bad. But he's following her and watching her. This is where Vanessa lived, up in there. Same sign on the wall. I'm not sure what it says. Unfortunately, my Mandarin is a little rusty. Here's a little can con for you. That's Canadian content. As Deadpool is following Vanessa because he wants to see her, but he doesn't want her to see him because he's burnt. There's a Scotia Bank in the background. That's how you know it's filmed in Canada because that's a Canadian bank. Not my bank though. I'm Batman. So she's walking right along here doing some shopping. And guess where he's waiting? Right here. In this doorway. This is where he's waiting. This is a really cool little area, this Chinatown. And they use a lot of this street. Going right along here. So he's waiting there. And then down to this street is where her apartment is. There's all of this. This little area right here is in a lot of uh, that scene. Van City Reynolds. Daddy, Daddy, watch me tomorrow. Daddy! It's dark now, I know. It gets really crazy sometimes doing filming location when you try and do a lot of them in one day. It never takes as long as you think. It takes much longer. Uh, but this is uh, an interior thing. I'm gonna go inside. They're gonna let me shoot inside a little bit. The laundromat, a little seltzer water and lemon, or just wear red. That's to get out blood. That's what he learns. Deadpool learns from Blind Al, who later becomes his roommate. But right in there, that's where she gives him that piece of advice after he beats up everybody and he's trying to clean his clothes. I had to get the crap out of so many people. Right in there. Very nice of them to let me film. Uh, something I kind of worked out in advance. Uh, they're not, because there's customers always inside, so they they said that they don't really let people come in and take photos and videos. They're not friends, but I explained that I was, you know, here from Toronto and I really want to do it, blah, blah, blah. And they were very, very cool about it. But yeah, shot right in there. Good Lord, this is a difficult location to find. And let me give you a tip. If you want to come to the skate park from Deadpool, don't park down this road because they will yell at you over this loudspeaker. Really loud. They weren't nice. First people in Vancouver I I've encountered who weren't nice. Well, the dudes that worked outside were nice. They were laughing, but come on. But look, you happy now? I walked in the rain. This loudspeaker, I see you came right down here this is where it was all shot right in here look how colorful this place is this is amazing the girls would have been sitting right about here after he takes care of our particularly stockish pizza delivery guy comes down these steps right here And you see all the background, see that thing in the background there, whatever it's called. This is a really difficult location to get to, to say the least. Like I'm talking really hard to figure out where it is. Oh my Lord. But it's worth it, it's really cool. Wow.
All right, it's too early for this. I need a coffee. Deadpool walk down, but yet he walks off that way in the background. It's pouring rain. These people are not nice next door. It's a fire department. I guess they get a lot of people wanting to park down this road so they can skate. Well, if you come here, you're probably on a skateboard already. Unless you're getting dropped off by your mom. I don't know. Okay, let's go somewhere else in Deadpool before I get soaked. I'm all wet. Pouring rain, Ryan Reynolds is here shooting a movie. It's called The Adam Project for Netflix. Mark Ruffalo, Jennifer Garner, reunited. 13 going on 30. But oh boy, look at that. Let's see how that works. Yeah, so here I am doing Ryan Reynolds filming locations, and Ryan Reynolds is right here on the property, guys. But it's pouring rain. He's not gonna come on unless I scream his name. But there's people going in and out of all oh come on. There's people going in and out of all these uh the dressing rooms the mobile trailers come on ryan come on it's pouring rain he's not gonna come out i can't wait all day gotta go i like to meet jennifer Garner too and mark ruffle is amazing watch you can't count on me all right let's go so when deadpool's chasing down the bad guy on the zamboni it was shot right here the agrodome here well, let's get a better angle shot all inside but covid covid 19 Yep. Can't get inside. It's really difficult. The light's on. Somebody's home. But no one's answering. COVID. Once again, foiled. But all those scenes are shot right inside this building. All right, right behind me there, that's the Petula Bridge. Right behind me here, that's where the final fight scene in Deadpool was held. This industrial land right here. Just, just kind of outside of, well, I'm in the port of Surrey, so I guess I'm still in Surrey. But yeah, we are, uh, Wade fights Ajax, tries to get back Vanessa, blah, blah, blah. That whole 30 minute long fight scene, all right past here. It's hard to kind of really see anything. It's kind of like this all the way along. You see that bridge prominently in the background in many, many shots. to see but there's a whole bunch of stuff back there this fence just goes on and on and on and small buildings and stuff but yeah it's all shot there the decommissioned helica uh, helicarrier was there well that was cgi'd yeah a lot of stuff to place there wish i could show you but i can't but that bridge is what you see that's the landmark the patulo bridge i've been back come on Come on! So that's it for Deadpool. Uh, some locations couldn't get to because by the time, or um, they're demolished now, a couple of... Stop it! Uh, what a waste! Yeah, the properties have been demolished, a couple of them. They try studio stuff. But I got the ones I wanted to see and I hope that you want to see. And now I'm a huge Deadpool fan. Look at the bridge behind me. Oh, uh, Bridges, Jeff Bridges, Lloyd Bridges, Ryan Reynolds. What do the three of them have in common? Figure it out. All right, peace. Ow. You're still here. It's over.